Today, I'm going to be showing you how to fix screen burns on the Game Boy Advance SP by replacing the polarizer film on the LCD itself. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Retro Stash Repairs. Today, I'm going to be demonstrating how to replace polarizer films on damaged Game Boy Advance SP screens. Whether it scratches or a screen burn, you can fix it. Keep in mind, this repair will also work the same with an AGS-001 as well as an AGS-101 screen. Although I myself wouldn't bother with a screen burned AGS-001 screen since they're pretty commonly found and easy to buy, relatively cheap as well. And the AGS-101 is not, I mean, they're pretty pricey and harder to come across, so this is definitely more worth it to me. I'm going to start off by explaining everything you'll need for this repair. First, and obviously, a damaged Game Boy Advance SP screen, whether it has a screen burn or it's all scratched up. Then, you'll need a knife blade, some sort of squeegee, a tri-wing and a Phillips head, and then a tiny flat head to pry the screen open, some polarizer films, which I will post in the description, the exact ones you'll need. You may have to input yourself, you know, for which model you'll need. The one I'll be using will say backlight or highlight or something along those lines. And then you'll also need some IPA and some paper towels or some sort of wipes. Ops also optional is a microfiber cloth. And I'll be using some gloves since the screen I'm, I'll be using is pretty disgusting looking. So that's everything I can think of. I'll go ahead and get started. I will first start off by removing the Phillips head screws off the screen frame. Prior to this, you will need to disassemble your SP if you haven't already done so. In this case, mine is already done, so I can skip straight to the screen frame. And this is where the gloves come in since the inside of the shell and the screen itself looks pretty nasty. And now it's time to use the mini flathead. You can use any prying tool, but I like to use this since I don't have a prying tool that's small enough to use for this job. What you need to do is start prying the small metal tabs on the edges as well as the sides, but be extremely careful as too much pressure can damage or break your LCD. As you can see, the screen is in really bad shape and has seen better days, but we're fixing to change that. Next, you will need to take your knife blade and start to slide it in one of the corners underneath the polarizing film while being careful not to scratch the actual glass on the LCD. You can use some tweezers to help start peeling back the film and once you have enough leverage you can use your fingers to gently peel it all back. After removing the polarizer, you will just notice a blank white screen, and if you place it back over it, the image will reappear. Now 
Next, you will want to clean your screen from any residue or left behind adhesive with some paper towels or Q-tips using rubbing alcohol or glass cleaner. Be very careful not to oversaturate the screen. Doing so will damage any LCD internals. After removing all residue, I like to go over it several times with the microfiber cloth just to make sure I give it that flawless clean shine. Now it's finally time to install the new polarizing film. You'll want to make sure it's on the right side and the right orientation. Personally, I think it's pretty amazing how it works and looks, especially in this instance when you're able to freely move it around to see how it works. If y'all didn't know what a polarizing film is, it's a film that most LCD screens use that filter in a certain amount of light through in order to see the image. Without it, it will just be a blank white screen. Right before installation, you can use the air duster to make sure there's no dust particles underneath the polarizer. Like I mentioned earlier, you want to peel back the right side first. In my case, it's the one with the red lines. You can now gently place down your film, making sure it's aligned and centered best as possible. You will then use your squeegee to wipe it across the screen, starting from the center outward to the edges. Make sure to push out any bubbles left behind with the squeegee. If there's any stubborn ones you couldn't get out, then unfortunately you will have to completely redo this step. After it's all done, it's time to give it a test run and reassemble it in the lens metal frame.
So I'm pretty much all done now. I'm pretty happy with the results. Unfortunately, mine had a frozen pixel towards the bottom, but you win some, you lose some. I'd rather much have this either way than how it was before with the screen burn and all nasty and stuff. So that pretty much does it with today's video. I'm pretty happy, at least I got my point across showing y'all how to fix this, how to replace the polarizing film. If y'all like con to continue seeing this kind of content, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell button. See y'all next time. Thank you for watching.